So if you've just been handed a project or a new feature to build, or you might be tempted to jump straight into work, <laughs> take a small pause and get these three things right. These three critical things will frame everything that you will do on any project and they have the power to break your work unless you agree on them with your product leader as soon as possible. And these three things I'm going to be talking about in this video. But before that, if you just got hired as a PM and you're wondering what in the world do I do now? I'm actually here to help you out. It's all cool. My name is Yelena and I'm a VP of product in a remote startup and I've been doing product for over five years, I think. If your job currently feels like everything, everywhere, all at once, um, I created this channel to help you master product management with confidence and clarity every step of the way. So let's get into this video. As product managers, our pace at work can often somewhat feel crazy, especially in early days of our careers. So when a product leader or a manager gives you a project to work on, a new feature to develop, um, many of you, including myself, fall directly into the build, build, build trap without basically taking a moment to understand three foundational things that will frame all the work that you will do. And when this happens, we don't deliver projects that create value for the business or users, um, and we settle down for solutions that don't really solve anything, they don't create impact. Instead, if we align on these three simple things, we can create a perfect foundation to frame our work and make it impactful. So here it is, the thing number one, strategic fit. Understanding strategic fit means essentially that you're understanding the context around the project that you're working on, around the feature or around the feature that you're building. Uh, you also want to make sure that your manager <laughs> agrees and sees the context around your project the same way. But what does it mean to understand the context? It all sounds a little bit wake up in the air. So these three things, your company's mission and vision, the product strategy, and your team's goals are basically the things you probably know already, but it helps refresh your knowledge so that you can essentially understand why the project you've been given actually matters. You want to understand how will your project or a feature that you're building drive company's mission and vision, how it will help execute the product strategy, and how it will drive your team's goals. A project that addresses all three of these is a project that will hit nail on its head. Additionally, when you understand and can communicate why your project matters to your team, then you can equip your team members to work on a project autonomously because they will have all the tools they need to basically make decisions and prioritize accordingly. If, however, <laughs> you are being handed a project that is not aligned with company's mission or vision and it doesn't help drive the product strategy or your team's goals, then maybe you need to red flag such a project with your manager and maybe even drop it. In my recent video, I shared um, a little bit about these components in more depth. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box down below. And if you're finding this video valuable, please give it a thumbs up. As a PM, you know how important such signals are for the algorithm training so that more people get to see my videos. Anyway, evaluating the strategic fit is not the only thing to get right. Understanding the user value is the next thing to consider when aligning with your leader. As product managers, we're doing everything to help um, our users and make their lives better. So it should come as no surprise that understanding user value of your project and the value basically that it brings is an important thing to get clear on very early. Normally, your manager and the leadership team will have already thought about the value of your project for the user, but making sure that you uh, and your manager are on the same page is a key step. So when it comes to user value, here is what you and your manager need to agree on. Number one, who is the user? Here you want to consider the demographic information, such as their age, gender, and so on, or firmographic information if we're talking about B2B products, such as their industry, location, revenue, and so on. But another thing to consider is their behavior inside your product, meaning uh, should you be are you focused on paid users or female users? Are you focused on your heavy users, the most engaged ones, or the users who are not yet activated inside the product? Whatever type of the user it may be, you need to narrow this down because understanding who the user is will help you get focused on the right users when you're working on your project. And the second thing to consider um, about your users is what problem you're solving for them. This means that you want to understand what is the problem you're solving. 
Do your users face performance issues, accessibility issues? Are they unable to complete an essential job that they came to do, whatever it may be? You want to get all this information clear. Besides understanding what is the problem, consider also gathering evidence that shows that this problem truly exists. We don't want to act just on our intuitions. This might include quantitative usage data, but it can also include qualitative data such as customer feedback, support issues, whatever it may be. The main point is that you want to gather all these signals and um, um, why you want to do this essentially? Well, because this will help you um, assess the severity of the problem so that you can understand how many users are impacted by the issue your project is supposed to solve so that you can understand your project's impact. Also, you can learn how your users are solving that specific problem today. Are they using a different product altogether? Are they using a custom solution? Whatever it may be, you want to get this information right and kind of make sure that you and your leadership team are aligned on this. This will help you build understanding and it might help with defining the solution later. And before we continue any further, I see you guys are watching my videos and I would love to get to know you better. So I'm doing 20 minute free consultations over on Zoom. If you're interested in meeting with me to discuss basically any type of product challenge that you're facing, there's a scheduling link in, link in the description box down below. So feel free to set up a short call with me. And this leads me to the third thing to agree on with your leadership, with your manager. Um, and this is probably the most important thing. And that is what does success look like? We can define success in two ways. First, from user angle, and then from the angle of the company. So when defining success from the angle of your users, you wanna consider how will their lives improve once your project or feature is live. This means imagining your users' lives um, and basically the best case scenario. And then you wanna define metrics that will determine the success of your product. Will your project improve user satisfaction? Or will it track net promoter score? Or will your project improve your product usage? and you're gonna see more engagement um, and other usage uh, data go up. The point is to get clear on the metrics and agree on those with your manager. The second angle to consider when defining success is the company angle. Similarly to the user angle, you want to get clear on how your project will transform your company after it has launched. And you also want to agree on the company metric that your project will help improve. But most importantly, you want to envision how if your project is a success, it will help drive the team's goals, the product goals and the company strategy. Why all this matters? Well. When in a few weeks or months after you've been assigned a project, you will need to evaluate its success, you will have the common ground since in the very beginning of the project, you already agreed on what success looks like with your manager. So there won't be any confusion as to the contribution you made. Additionally, since from the start, you knew what you're after, the chances are higher you will actually achieve a good outcome if you know what you're aiming for. And that was it, three things to agree on with your manager when you're just kicking off a new project. So it was strategic fit, user value and definition of success. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it valuable, please give it a thumbs up. As a PM, you know how important such signals are for the algorithm training. Here on the screen somewhere is another video for me that you might enjoy. And until the next one, keep creating user value.